Lapis Lazuli, in conjunction with Dr. Randy Clark's Global Awakening Ministries USA, presents Kingdom Revival Conference Lagos and Kingdom Foundations Abuja. Kingdom Revival Conference will hold in Lagos at the Landmark Event Center, Oniru, Victoria Island on Friday 24th and Saturday 25th of March 2017. And in Abuja, Kingdom Foundations will hold at the International Conference Center, Abuja, on Monday the 27th and Tuesday the 28th of March 2017. Speakers are Dr. Leif Hedlund, who is coming to Nigeria for the very first time, Dr. Tom Jones and Paul Mateen. In Lagos, worship will be led by Nathaniel Gassi. And Abuja, worship will be led by Tintok Ishaki. Time is 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. each day. Admission is free, but pre-registration is required. To register, log on to www.lapislazuliministries.org or text your name, email address, and church to 703 Four three seven one four zero one or zero eight zero nine seven one six seven four nine one and Abuja zero nine zero six three nine zero one nine one six or zero nine zero eight six three one five four eight nine Kingdom Revival Conference Lagos and Kingdom Foundations Abuja. Don't miss it. Miss it. Welcome back. Indeed, don't miss it. 2017 Kingdom <laughs> Revival Conference. Well, this is about that time of the year when we, when we get our friends to come tell us what they are planning or what they want to do. And we have in the studio Femi Bajamo, founder, and Mina Bajamo, founder, co-founder as well, or founder, La Pizla Lazuli Ministries. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ma, for joining Thanks us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we saw that um, commercial or that Announcement. Announcement out there about the conferences. It looks like you're having two conferences now. So we won't start with telling us what are you planning, but tell us why two conferences this year. Um, the Lord led us to have two conferences. We've always had the conference in Lagos since, 19, since 2014. So we've run that for three years. This is the fourth year running. And as we were praying, the Lord led us that we need to go to Abuja this year because the conferences we've had in Lagos, we've had people coming from all over Nigeria. There are people that bust themselves down from Abuja and they've been yearning for an Abuja conference and I think the Lord has made it happen this year. And we have very interesting speakers that will tell you about them later that will sort of show you why Abuja is so key to our conference this year. Abuja is the seat of the government, is going further north not being too comfortable with just staying in Lagos. So we are expecting uh, that a lot of people from the north will be able to come to Abuja rather than everybody coming to Lagos for the conference. Mm. So that's why we are going to Abuja this year. Okay, Mina, who are those going to minister this year? Well, this year we have Dr. Tom Jones, the Vice President of Global Awakening, who has ministered um, for the past two years. Not the Tom Jones that we all know. No, no, <laughs> not the singer. Everybody mistakes him for that. We also have Paul Martini who's come for the past three years to Nigeria um, to minister. We call them Nigerians now because we're so used to them. But in addition, we are honored to have Dr. Leif Hetland, who is of Global Missions Awareness. And we're really excited because he goes all over the world to minister. He carries an amazing anointing of supernatural love of God. And we, um, he's known to minister in Pakistan and other um, nations of the world. And so we're looking forward to him bringing this love that he talks about to Nigeria. One of, the, one of your write-ups says, I want to get that correctly, right. to be an example to the world as to the operation of the kingdom. Have you been able to achieve this, I mean, year in, year out of holding this conference? We um, have this conference here this, in, in, in Nigeria, and we bring those people in. But in addition, we go for their conferences as well. In the U.S., we go on mission trips with uh, the Global Awakening in Europe and elsewhere. And these guys, uh, they travel about 250 days in a year. 
So they are itinerant ministers as they evangelize all over the world, Brazil, all over the continent, the five continents. So we are actually very honored that they can add Nigeria to one of the continents or one of the countries that they go to. So Africa is the first place that they come and uh, Nigeria is the very first place that they've ever come in Nigeria, in um, Africa. So we are privileged to have them. Okay, so how, do you how are you exemplifying the operations of the kingdom with this movement, or with this addition? The, um, what we do is our ministry, we try to foster unity among um, churches and ministries across the body of Christ. Now we restore hearts to the foundation of love of God because love of God is very, very important to be able to heal anything you want. And in this country, as you know, we have all sorts of challenges now. We have economic challenges. We have people who have been displaced either due to um, militancy or insurgency. And all those people, by the time they come to our conferences, we're able to minister God's love to them. And we'll heal them physically, emotionally, internal healing, as well as healing of their minds. And that way, we'll be able to walk in what the Lord has sort of destined them to walk in. And be able to change and be transformed. So that's way we're able to impact the nations more, because we have a wide reach all across the nation. So it doesn't matter if you're... Catholic, Anglican, Methodist, no. No. Muslim. We, last, last year's conference we had over 600 churches represented and ministries. And so it's amazing when you see everybody sitting together, no divide, nobody knows who or where you're coming from, you just know you're a son or a daughter mightily loved by God. And from here we've had people go to, we have a friend who goes to um, um, a choir bomb now Delicia. and she does something for the widows about 500 widows and a worship service and feeding so we have so many who have been coming for these conferences who have suddenly had their hearts impacted by the love of God in a new way and off they fly out in one direction or the other you know and bring together bodies again of, of the, the, uh, the um, Jesus' um, church. Just sharing love. Just sharing love. Just okay. sharing. Now, the Lagos Conference is holding when and where? The Lagos Conference is holding at the Landmark Event Center, which is off Oniru, um, Oniru off Ligalia Yorin Day. Okay. And it's holding next Friday, which is the 24th of March, and Saturday, which is the 25th. Of March so we're really looking forward to having them there on the 23rd which is the Thursday okay. our conferences are usually three days but on the 23rd the Thursday this time we have two days because on the Thursday coalition of apostles will be meeting at guiding light um, church assemblies church and so if anyone you know would like to join us there we have all the speakers there that's their the first place they'll be ministry. So